Hello, my name is Dr. Gill. Um, I've been asked to have a chat with you today. Uh, before we start, could I please confirm your name and date of birth? Yep, my name is Bethany Gill. Date of birth is 10th of August 1996. Interesting name. I think I recognise that one. Mm, you look awful, an awful lot like my husband. So, how can I help today? Uh, I'm pregnant. We're pregnant? Sorry, I mean, you're pregnant? We're pregnant. Ah, you're pregnant? Yes. Good. Okay. Is that, was that a planned pregnancy? It was. Okay, and how do you feel about it? Pretty excited, yeah. Excellent. Okay, so how far pregnant do you think you are? I think seven or eight weeks. Okay, do you know when your last period was? Uh, my last period, I think I started um, on the 20th of March. Okay, and are your periods regular? They are. Super, okay. So, well, congratulations that uh, we're pregnant. Sorry, you're pregnant. Congratulations that we, I am also pregnant, yes. Excellent, okay. So, um, with regard to that, let's just have a quick chat about what we need to do in order to support you whilst you're pregnant. Um, so, are you taking any supplements at the minute? I am. I'm taking some folic acid and some vitamin D. Do you know how much folic acid you're taking? It's one tablet. I think it's 400 micrograms. Okay. And do you know how much vitamin D you're taking? I think it's 800 units. Okay, super. So, they're the sort of things that we'd, uh, we'd look at, definitely. Now, there's uh, lots of things you can buy on the, over the counter, Pregnacare being one of them. Um, are you taking two tablets separately or are you taking Pregnacare? Uh, I'm taking the two tablets separately. Okay. So, we've covered your um, past medical problems. Now, we need to talk about your medications. Do you take any medications at the minute? I do. Uh, what are they? I take Citalopram, 20 milligrams once a day for anxiety. Um, I take Fexofenadine, which is an allergy medication, um, 120 milligrams as and when I need it, generally in the summer and the spring, and that's it. Okay, so the fexofenadine is uh, fine to use in pregnancies. With regard to the citalopram, um, do you feel that you're better, um, you know, with it or without it? With it. Okay, so there are lots of medications where we can't say absolutely they're safe in pregnancy. So what we do is we focus on you. So whilst I can't say that um, citalopram is 100% safe in pregnancy, we know that if mother is healthy, if mother is not stressed and is dealing well with their mental health, that is better for the baby. So my suggestion will be that you carry on with that medication. Does that sound reasonable to yourself? Yeah. Okay. If need be and there's any further concerns, we can certainly discuss with the OBS and Gynae team about that specific medication. Okay. So um, do you have any allergies at all at the minute? Uh, pollen and prawns. Oh, any drug allergies? No. A very important question with regard to being pregnant. I, are you up to date with your vaccines? I think so. I had my flu and my COVID last year. Mm -hmm. um, my tetanus is up to date. I think I need to get one later in the pregnancy, but I don't qualify for that yet. Okay. And your pneumococcal? I believe so. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to ask a couple of questions now. They're all without bias, but that does mean that they can come over as a bit surprising for some people. But ultimately, it's about making sure you're safe. Does your partner know about the pregnancy? Oh, I think you do. And how do they feel about that? Well, I think you're pretty excited, yeah. Okay, super. Um, and do you have any concerns about you know, your relationship, any stresses and things like that? Nope. Okay, good. So have you ever been pregnant before? No. Okay. So given that this is your first pregnancy and that can have a range of emotions associated with it, how are you feeling at the moment? Excited and terrified. Based upon that, before we go any further, have you got any questions for me that I might be able to help with? Is there any other medication that I should be taking? So we're making sure that you're taking the supplements correctly at the moment, which you've said you are. It's more about medications we want you to avoid. So are you aware of any medications we want you to avoid? I think I was told that ibuprofen. Absolutely. So uh, as your body changes, you might have aches and pains and things like that. Paracetamol, perfectly safe medication. You can take two tablets up to four times a day, no more than eight in the day. However, ibuprofen can cause issues in pregnancy, so we say absolutely none of that. Okay. If you have any other issues, please talk to us. And similarly, if you were to look about getting other medications over the counter, it might be worthwhile to check whether or not they're safe in pregnancy. As ever, if there's any doubt, please get on the phone or pop in and we'll be able to help you out with any answers with that. Okay. So we've found out about you, uh, but let's find out a little bit around you. What do you do for work? I'm a doctor. Okay, so going to be quite a stressful job. Yes. Um, have you informed work about the pregnancy yet? Not yet. I wanted to wait until I got to 12 weeks. Okay. Um, obviously, 
working as a medic and having a pregnancy can be two very stressful things. It might be worthwhile raising with um, your consultant, with your team, your supervisor, to make sure that you're sufficiently supported in the pregnancy. But I do understand about necessarily wanting to wait, but think about the balance, what ultimately benefits you and the pregnancy going forwards. Okay. So uh, do you drink alcohol? Not anymore. Okay, good. So we need to make sure you're avoiding alcohol throughout the pregnancy. Uh, do you smoke at all? No. Okay. Um, we ask everybody, uh, do you do recreational drugs? <laughs> no. Okay. So like the other two, <laughs> we'd certainly advise you to be avoiding those at the moment. Okay. Okay. Um, so one of the things that can change in the pregnancy is your blood pressure. Are you aware of having any problems with your blood pressure? I've been told it's on the low side previously. Okay. So it might be something that you need to make sure you're drinking plenty of fluid throughout because as your body changes, your volume in terms of the space that your blood sits in can increase. So you may end up, again, potentially feeling lightheaded. So one of the things that um, we'll do today as well is just to get your uh, BMI, so your body mass index. That can involve obviously checking your height and also checking your weight. Now, some people can be very sensitive about that at the moment. Do you want to know those numbers? No. Okay, we will, however, write them down, and if we need to discuss them, we will do, but um, obviously I will keep it to myself for the time being. So what we'll do now, we're going to do, check your blood pressure. Um, so are you right or left-handed? Left-handed. Okay, so we'll try it on your right arm, if that's okay. Do you have any problems with that arm? No. Super. So um, if you could roll up a sleeve for me. So we're going to do it twice. We're going to do it once without the stethoscope, and once with... So we'll just put that on there. Thank you. And all the way around. Okay, so just relax that arm down for me. Okay, I'm just going to clip that onto there. And I'm going to feel your pulse as it's going up. So I've lost the pulse, and it's back to about 110. Okay, I'm going to do the same again now, but I'm going to use the stethoscope, and we're going to go a wee bit higher. Okay, so just going underneath. Okay, so just a little bit above where we were, and now just letting it come down again. Okay, so that's about 100 over 60. Super. So, still within normal, but your um, diastolic might be a little bit on the low side. So it might be worthwhile if we're making sure that you're drinking that little bit more. Okay, so let's get you to stand over here and we're going to check your height. Okay, and let's come over here and just check your weight. So again, don't, you don't have to look if you don't want to. Okay, so we'll do the maths on that and we'll work out what your BMI is in a moment. So if you take a seat for me. So the other thing that we're going to um, organise is for you to um, have a sample of urine and we'll send that off to the lab and make sure there's no asymptomatic bacteria. So sometimes ladies can have a bit of bacteria in the urine and they have well, no symptoms. If that's the case, then we'll give you some antibiotics to treat that because it can have effect on the pregnancy. Now, um, I've started off the journey today because you've come to see me, but what we do need to do is get you to book with a midwife. So if you go have a chat with the ladies at the desk, they'll likely go through a lot of the discussions that we've had today, but they will start off um, your pregnancy journey on that side, and they'll also look at organising for the scans and things for you. Okay? So, have you got any questions for me at the moment? No. Super. Well, thank you very much. And congratulations to us. We're pregnant! <gasps> Sorry, I couldn't resist doing it this way. Um, well, there we go, guys. I hope that that's at least uh, a useful overview on how to do a um, first consultation in a pregnancy. Um, we don't do that many in general practice because patients often are booked with a midwife initially, but some do come through. So as, uh, as GPs and medical students potentially, you need to be able to cover a, um, a first consultation um, a pregnancy. 
Um, so yeah, to answer the questions for a few of you, this is um, Dr. Bethany Gill, Mrs. Gill, the other half. Better half. <laughs> so if you've got any questions um, about how to um, assess pregnancy in the initial stages, do drop them down below and we'll try and help with that. Um, please um, subscribe to the channel and we'll probably be trying to do a few more of these medical style assessments. Now I've actually got uh, a living sample. Volunteer? Uh, wife. That's the word, that's the word. Yeah, so we've got something I can film on now. Thank you, take care, we'll see you soon. Cheerio.